Hello, so my name is John. I'm a radiographer and a teacher and academic here at Monash University. So radiography plays an integral part in most patients' healthcare journeys. And today we're gonna to introduce you to the basics of imaging a limb here in our radiography skills lab at the university. So today we have a patient for an ankle x-ray and Susan is just introducing herself to the patient now explaining the procedure, checking the patient's details to ensure we have the correct person. So some patients can be quite nervous, of course, coming for x-rays, given that they're in the middle of a diagnostic pathway. So a large part of the radiographer's role is helping patients to feel comfortable, such that they know what's going on at all times, and so that they can have a very positive experience. So Susan just raises the table up so that she can work at a safe height for herself and she just starts to position the patient. This is our imaging receptor on which our image will appear. She starts to move the X-ray tube or camera around the room and into position and the image gets captured on the receptor then. So a leg X-ray is probably one of the most straightforward examinations to perform and I think the easiest way to perform that is have the patient just lying flat on their back with their leg stretched out straight and we just roll it into the different positions that we need for the diagnostic image. So because we use radiation and we always want to protect ourselves because we're involved in this all day, every day, and Susan steps out to just ensure that she doesn't get any potential dose from the radiation basically and it's just safe work practices really. So when Susan steps out of the room, she activates that camera, the X-ray photons come out, penetrate the patient, and we capture our x-rays. If we were taking a three-dimensional structure and uh, visualizing that on an x-ray image, which is two-dimensional, and therefore you need to take the image from different angles such that you can represent that appropriately so that we can make sure we get an accurate and confident diagnosis. Nowadays, all of the x-rays are obviously digital, and so they pop up on a computer screen. And the role of the radiographer is to basically ensure that they have achieved good quality imaging that we know will answer the clinical question that has been posed. Most people think that x-rays are, are just for bones and, and seeing whether they're broken or not, but that's a very, very basic part of what we do. Radiographers are also involved in cancer imaging. X-rays are also extremely useful if patients have any instrumentation post-operatively, lines, catheters, etc., in position. So it's also really useful for that as well. So the lab we have here at Monash University is literally a carbon copy of what you might see in a hospital or in an imaging center. So we have a range of equipment. Getting hands-on with this equipment is really, really important such that students can go out onto clinical placement particularly and feel confident. I hope that provided some insight into what it's like to be a radiography student here at Monash and we hope to see you all soon.